I'm originally from Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts, and um, I grew up listening to James Taylor, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and Eric Clapton. Basically, those are my first three influences. As far as the acoustic guitar, uh, most of what I did was emulate James Taylor growing up. I'm currently out on the road with Reba McIntyre, and uh, I play acoustic, some electric. I've been with her for 10 years. Um, I didn't grow up uh, in a musical family. In 1964, my cousin was given a Fender Strat and a Vibraverb amplifier by his mom. She got it at a pawn shop somewhere. And they started a little band in the basement. Uh, I remember going over to his house and seeing them play and thinking, that's what I want. I've got to get, I, I want a guitar. For my 11th birthday, my father surprised me with an instrument. He surprised me with a guitar. And um, I remember not really knowing what to do with it. Uh, I didn't know anything about how to play it. As a matter of fact, I laid it on my lap like this and played it with my thumb. I wrote a song about the butcher and the baker. And um, I think it took about two years. I was about 13 years old when I started to take it seriously. I do, uh, I play a number of different styles. The tapping style, a lot of times I'll rely on an open string to ring out while I'm, I'm playing something else up on the neck. And this guitar seems to really hold the, uh, it holds those, those sustain notes beautifully. See this D string, for example. It just keeps ringing. It's still there. The McPherson guitars are not like any other instrument any other guitar that I've played. There you have it.